In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate a topographical surface within your Revit model. So the first thing you want to do is double click on the site view. Right? And you should see a window up here that looks something like this. Next, click on the Massing in Sight tab to bring up the Massing in Sight ribbon. Then click on Topo Surface. And what we'll do is we'll generate a large surface on the screen here by placing contour points. So I'll just make something that's relatively square and you'll see that it's generating this surface. Right Now once you've done that you can click on the finished surface and now you're no longer within the topographical editing tool. I'll go to the south view to see what I have so far. So this is this flat surface that I've generated. And then I'll go back to the site view to take a look at it again. All right, if I click on it, I can edit the surface. And what I want to do is make a slope to this to this topographical surface by clicking on individual contour points. So as you can see, it's currently at 0 feet 0 inches. I'm going to make it 10. And I'll do the same thing for this, this other one. Okay, so what it's done is it's generated a sloped surface. So I'll click on that check again and I'll go back to my south view. And what I can see is that there's now a slope to that, to that earth profile. Go back to the site view again. Mm -hmm and we'll continue to make more, more changes. I'm going to click on Edit Surface, and I'm going to continue to place some points. Instead of having it just continuously dropping from one edge to another, I'm going to generate some more contour points. And I'll place a few of them in the middle here, and one at the edge. All right. Now, as with before, if I click on these, these contour points, I can edit their height. Okay, um, if you check on that box and then you um, go in edit again, you can click these contours and alter their height. So if I made this one 0 and this one 10, I'll make this one right here halfway in between and I'll change these that are on the edge. Oops, that should be 5 feet, not 50 feet. Same thing with this one here, 5 feet, and the last one here also 5 feet. And we'll go back one more time and look at it from one of the side view from the south view. All right. So you can continue to add more contours depending on what you'd like to see for your for your structure. You can continue to add contours or alter them as necessary as well.